Immuno electrophoresis is a serological test which is carried out especially in clinical laboratories. So when, when we need to experiment, we need to experiment with the number of proteins, the possibility of different proteins present, immunoelectrophoresis is used. How is an immunoelectrophoresis carried out? First of all, we need to separate the proteins. In the several proteins, depending on the charge to mass ratio, we need to separate them. So what we do is, an electrophoresis, we take a glass plate, okay, uh, we load the sample, assume we are loading the sample here, this is a protein loaded, protein is loaded, and uh, cathode to anode, let us separate the protein. When you conduct an electrophoresis, if the proteins, depending on the charge to mass ratio, it can get separated. Proteins are getting separated. Once this separation occurs, if the first part is over, then what do we do? The next part is immunoelectrophoresis. That is, what we do here is, we will cut this much. Okay, this is a whole gel cut and a kind of a trough is made. Cut that and remove. After that, melt the agarose and in that agarose add antibody and pour here. So this is antibody incorporated. Antibody incorporated agarose is poured. So what will happen when you pour antibody incorporated agarose? It will get solidified. After that, allow simple migration of this protein so you know that this protein will migrate in all direction this protein also will migrate in all direction and at the zone of equivalence an antibody also will migrate in this direction everywhere at the zone of equivalence wherever it is matching with the epitopes you might find an arc here you might find an arc uh, here you might find an arc, so here maybe there is no arc. If the antibody produced is a polyclonal antibody. So this is a mixture of electrophoresis with the, uh, immunological diffusion. That's why it is called immunoelectrophoresis. Another important serological uh, test which is based on the precipitation uh, reaction is a rocket immunoelectrophoresis. It is called the rocket immunoelectrophoresis because it has the shape of the rocket. You have seen how the rocket is going. A similar shape it has, therefore it is called rocket immunoelectrophoresis. One of the disadvantages of rocket immunoelectrophoresis is the antigen must be negatively charged. We have to charge the antigen negatively. Certain antigens we may not be able to charge negatively and that you cannot use it for rocket immunoelectrophoresis. How is rocket immunoelectrophoresis carried out? Very simple, uh, take a glass plate like this, take a glass plate and in this glass plate melt the agarose and add antibody to that and pour it. So antibody incorporated. Antibody incorporated agarose you pour. After incorporating that, once it solidifies, create wells here. One, two, three and four. Create wells. Now in these wells, what we are going to do is we will add antigen, negatively charged antigen in increasing concentration. So therefore antigen in increasing concentration. Antigen is added. So here this will have the lowest concentration and as it moves on it will have the highest concentration. Assume that 1, 2, 3 we add known concentration of antigen and in this well number 4 we will add an unknown concentration and let us see how we find the concentration of this unknown sample. Now carry out electrophoresis. Remember this is negatively charged. So when you allow electrophoresis, 
if the proteins will is moved or pushed into this agarose which is incorporated with antibodies and at the zone of equivalence it will form a precipitin line depending on the concentration of antigen so this is higher concentration it will have a higher rocket this will have a still higher rocket and this we don't know the concentration this will have a rocket like this measure the length of the rocket after measuring the length of the rocket what we are going to do is we are going to draw a graph and in this graph okay so uh, this you take in the length of the rockets on the x-axis you take increasing concentration of antigen you take so on the y-axis the length of the rocket so therefore the first one first antigen let us we get the length is here in the second if the length is there and the third if the length is here connect all these points connect these points when you connect to these points now you have the unknown concentration find out interpolate the unknown concentration and you will unknown length and you will be able to see you will be able to find the unknown concentration of the antigen this is how we use rocket immunoelectrophoresis we are using diffusion as well as the principle of electrophoresis in order to get a faster precipitation by using rocket immunoelectrophoresis another variation of uh, uh, precipitation reaction is 2d immunoelectrophoresis 2d immunoelectrophoresis from the name itself you can make out there is um, immunodiffusion electrophoresis and in the dimension also changes it is a, basically a variation of the immunoelectrophoresis that we have seen what do we do here simple first of all carry out an experiment where you are separating a protein this is plus and this is minus you are separating a protein based on its charge the protein is separated once you separate the protein what we need to do is we are going to cut to this portion okay this is the protein that got separated we cut to this much after cutting take only that okay after cutting take only that portion so remember this was the first direction of our electrophoresis first direction now what do we do we will we are going to have a different direction for electrophoresis that means before doing that what we need to do is this has to be transferred let us make another plate and in this plate you incorporate antibody this is antibody incorporated agar plate is made to this agar plate transfer this whole thing here so therefore we are transferring this is one two three four that is transferred here so to this is transferred the whole thing is transferred there okay and remember the first direction of electrophoresis was like this and now we will conduct an electrophoresis at 90 degree which means now we will conduct an electrophoresis in this direction the first direction was in and this is the second this is the first direction this is the second direction when we run it this direction it is like now rocket electrophoresis this will migrate depending on the concentration of the antigen it will be able to give uh, precipitation lines depending on the concentration this is known as two-dimensional immunoelectrophoresis therefore varieties of serological test based on the precipitation principle is carried out like single radial double radial uh, immunoelectrophoresis uh, rocket immunoelectrophoresis and finally two-dimensional immunoelectrophoresis these are some of the experiments carried out based on in the precipitation reaction.